Hey everyone, Luke Shelton out here at the Maroon Activity Center where the Butte Central boys are heading into the post-Dougie Peoples era. But while the Montana Gatorade Player of the Year is now at the College of Idaho, this team has already proven that it's still capable of piling up wins. Peoples gave us this unforgettable moment to cap off the 2022 State A Championship and is now chasing his dreams with reigning national champion College of Idaho. But I know he's got bigger and better things ahead of him. And it's not easy to play at the next level, but I know with his work ethic, you know, he's going to find his spot. And I, I promise you the kid's going to be a player at the next level. But with Dougie graduated, now what? Well, things haven't changed much for the Maroons, who are off to a 3-0 start. A lot of that has to be credited to head coach Brody Kelly, who's heading into his 20th season guiding Central. But that expectation of winning existed at Butte Central before Kelly was at the helm. I'd say our culture has been consistent from the day that I started here. That's probably number one. I think the way we play is pretty consistent. I mean, we're not stubborn. We do tweak things, but every team in the state knows that. We got no secrets. Everybody knows the way we're going to play. You know, we're just able to sustain it. I think that that's helped. What's also helped is having a roster that's stacked with talent, including seniors Zane Mudry and Jack Keeley. And rolling through the early part of their schedule has given them a clear idea of where they stand as the Southwest Day approaches. We love to get tested early, you know, you want to see where you're at, like how good can you be? And they were good tests of what we can be this season. I think it's super important, it kind of gauges where we're at compared to the rest of the West at least. But yeah, playing these teams that aren't in our conference kind of tell us where we're at. With a mixture of veteran players and new faces, Central is poised to continue its run of success. But make no mistake about it, adjusting to life without Dougie has been, well, an adjustment. Dougie was such a unique player that most everything we did offensively was predicated on what he was doing. And we ran a system that allowed him a lot of freedom to be himself. But, you know, now we're back to kind of what was normal before Dougie. In Butte, Luke Shelton, MTN Sports.